Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We had a great question and it's one that I take for granted and I presume that everybody knows. One of the viewers was asking, can you design and have different layouts and different content on different devices? For instance, desktop, tablet, and mobile. And the simple answer is yes. And it's really important because you want to design mobile first nowadays, purely because most people are looking at websites on their mobile phones. And you can have one layout that works perfectly on the desktop. But if you go down to a tablet or a mobile, it's not going to work so well. And you can totally re redesign for those. And like I say, mobile first is huge at the moment. How many people do you know that actually use a desktop nowadays? I do a lot of corporate sites, so they use a lot of desktops in those. But most people I know tend to use their phones for browsing. So I've got a desktop version here, as you can see. I'm using Google Chrome with the inspector tools. If I hit my F12 key, here it is on an iPad Air. And it's a completely different layout, different colors and everything. You can have completely different content if you want. And if I go down to an iPhone then, we got a completely different layout again. So you really can design from mobile. Then you can design a completely different one, tablet, and of course, completely different one again, the desktop version. And if I show you the layout here, I've got this page open. What we've got is we've got three sections. Here's the actual desktop version. Mine's very simplified here. I roll down. We've got another section here that's kind of grayed out because it's hidden on desktop. That's the tablet version. And another one here that we're just going to show on mobile. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. Really easy. And like I say, really important. So let's start a new page. We'll give it a title. I'll just call it mobile first, perhaps. And of course, we're going to use the Divi Builder. And I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. Now, if you want to start from mobile, you just hit this one and start building on mobile. I'm actually going to start from desktop and work my de way down. I'm going to keep this extremely simple for us today. So on a desktop version, let's have three columns. I'll use a little blurb module. I'm going to leave it all on the defaults here for expediency. Image and icon, throw in whatever image you want, obviously. I'm just going to align all my text to the middle over in design text. Middle. Perfect. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times. We'll drag one across. They're all identical. Obviously, you're going to want to put content in yours. Let's leave that one out. And let's just clone this row. There, we've got six of them. So obviously, you'd have different images and different content for yours. But I'm going to leave mine just like that. So here we have a desktop version. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new section. We're going to use this for tablet. Think on the tablet. I'm just going to have one column. Again, we're going to use our little blurb module. If I roll down, there it is. For this particular tablet version, I'm going to have the title and the content, but no image. So I'm just going to go to image and icon. I'm going to delete that. So we have just got that. But I'm actually going to use the featured image as the background. So if we go down to background. Well, it's not the featured image, but whatever image you want to use. Third tab along, it's background image. Use that same young lady. And I want to give it a little bit of height. So in design, I'm going to give it a minimum height. Design and sizing. Minimum height means it can get bigger if it needs to on smaller devices. And we'll say 35 viewable height, VH. There we go. And then we want to push that content down a bit, make it so we can see it. So it's still in design. We close up our sizing. You've got title and body text. You can do those separately. I'm just going to go into text. I'm going to pop it into the middle. I'm going to make it light in color. And we'll throw it down a little bit with a bit of padding at the top. We can do that in spacing. Padding top. Let's perhaps give it 200 pixels. It's sitting on the bottom. That, that's going to work for me. Now we're only going to be looking at this on tablet, this version. So let's give this a different background color. Background's always under content. 
that's fine. And then of course we want to duplicate this module as many times as you want to see it on the tablet. I guess we've got six, so we'll do that. Two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So this is what we're going to have on the tablet version. We want to see what it looks like. Just go down the tablet view. Yep, that's going to work fine. Obviously, you want to change out your pictures and content. Now, if you wanted to see more of that text, a little trick that you can do for that background image, you could put a little gradient over the top of it. Just click on any one of these. We'll add a background gradient. I'll roll down. We want this to be above the background image. Now, I want to see the image itself at the top mostly. So I'm going to click the blue one. I'm going to take you past the slider all the way down. So we've got a nice image there. The green one, I want it to highlight that text a bit. So I'm going to make it a black perhaps. But I don't want it to darken down that image too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the top one, the transparent one, which is that blue colored one. I'm going to bring it down. You see it clears up that picture. And we've just got that little gradient over the text. We could, if you want it, darken it down a little bit more. Just pull this one up. As you can see, that's darkening it down a little bit more right there. Once you're happy, that's great. Should have done that on the original. But what we can do here is just extend the background attributes to this section, parent section, blurb modules, background. We've got it on all our images now. Perfect. Great. We'll call that done. Let's go back to desktop then. And I'm going to add a new section. This one, I think I want two columns. I want it two columns on mobile for sure. And again, we'll just use that silly little blurb module. This time, I'm going to use an icon instead of an image. And I only want a little bit of content down here. So let's take some of this content away. I'm going to give it a blue background. Background color, image and icon. Let's use an icon instead. And the reason you can't see it is the same color blue as our background there. To fix that, let's go to our design, image and icon. Let's make that icon white. Should be able to see it now. Fantastic. We'll take it down a little bit in size. Top's fine. And let's pop our text into the middle now. Here's the text. And again, I'm going to make it light in color. I'm going to pop it into the middle. And let's just add a little bit of padding. We'll give it 30 top and bottom. And 20 left and right. Doesn't matter too much. It's not taking up that space there. See what it's going to look like on a mobile. Let's hit our mobile. Roll down. That's right, but I think I want two columns. So if we go into the row itself, go to content and elements, apply structure template. I want two calls on mobile. Perfect. Then we can just clone this one. And let's do six. I want one more on this side. So you can see the structure that we've got here. Now to make this work, if I save this, you're going to have all of this on one page. Let's save this. And we'll preview. And here we have it. This is what we've got on desktop. But if we roll down, we've got this, which we don't want to see. And we've also got this, which we don't want to see. Now this has been with us since probably Divi 4 at least. But what we can do, let's go back to our edit page here. Switch back to the desktop version. Go up to the top. This one we only want to see on desktop. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're in this section. We want to go over to the advanced and down to visibility. And we can decide what we want to see on phone, tablet and desktop. Well, this one we only want to see it on desktop. So we're going to hide it on tablet and phone. If we roll down to the next section, we only want to see this one on tablet. So make sure we're in the correct section by clicking on it or clicking on the blue tab or anywhere in the section there. This one we only want to see on tablet, so I'll disable it on phone and also on desktop. When I hit the desktop here, you should see it gray out a little bit. That lets us know in the builder that it's not visible on this particular device size. 
And I bet you can't guess what we're going to do with this next one. Got to make sure we're in the correct section. We only want to see this on phone. So we're going to disable it on tablet and desktop. Fantastic. Now, one thing I might mention here, if you're actually looking at it in tablet view or even mobile view, you're going to find that you can't actually adjust these settings. So you could just want to make sure that you're back in desktop view and you can adjust them here. So let's save this and see what we've got. Now we should have just this on desktop. If I scroll down, there should be nothing below except the footer. Perfect. And again, if I hit my F12 key, here it is on the iPad Air, and we've got those ones with the gradient and the text. That text not quite working there. We need to adjust the padding, push that text down a little bit more on that one. But that's okay. We know how to do that. And if we look on a mobile, we should just have the little blue background with the icons. Roll back up. And we've got a column of two, and we've got our little blue background with the icons there. That just demos how you can design mobile first and have completely different layouts, for completely different devices. Now, the only thing you want to bear in mind with this is that if we've got three different types of design on here, it is going to add a bit of load time to your site because it, although it's hidden, it's still got to load this. But it's really not going to slow it down too much. And you want to decide if you want to compromise between user experience and speed. But it is a really important feature. We're using Divi 5 here. It's exactly the same for Divi 4. I used to work with Divi 3. It's been so long ago, I can't remember if they had this on Divi 3 or not. But it is essential. Because as we mentioned earlier, most people browse websites on their phones nowadays. So that was a great question. Like I say, it's something I don't think about too much because I do it automatically when I need to. But that was a great question, and I hope this has helped to explain that and show you how it's done. Really easy, as you can see, no coding involved, and it's just yet another great feature of the Divi theme. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.